What's up, Raiders? Welcome to the Geek Chest. My name's Steve. Today we kind of have a um, weird unboxing. Because uh, what this is is the uh, Star Ace, or I mean, it was X Plus, the Harry Housen Allosaurus from 1 million years BC. Um, my buddy Aaron sent this to me because I guess uh, uh, they were doing cleaning in the house and it got knocked off the shelf. <laughs> and uh, so the, one of the feet is damaged. Uh, sounds like it's damaged fairly badly. Uh, so we're going to try to repair it. Uh, that, I guess he has another one on the way, but we're going to fix this one so you can have a pair. But I haven't actually seen the figure yet, and I thought it would be cool to do like, an unboxing. Maybe even review this before I send it back to him. And there goes my little classic thing for my feet. Oh, yeah, there's a... I don't see a foot. <laughs> So, he's a big boy. Got a little base. All right, so here's his foot. Currently not attached. I thought he said there was some cracking on the foot. Oh, yeah, right there. I see that now. I might be able to just glue that. And get it close. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So I need to heat this up a bit, separate it, add some glue, put it back together. Um, preferably with a brush. So one little trick I like to do is I have these little disposable brushes. I got some glue, uh, Loctite super glue. I usually just find a surface to put a little bit extra on, so I got these little 50 cent cups. You can just add it to it or put it to the top. Be wary of fumes, because there will be fumes. Uh, then you take your brush, you get a little glue on it, and then you'll just put it over top sections. I use this a lot for clearing, or if I got to be kind of precise, because um, this one isn't very good for that. So I'm going to do that for that. I'll probably do that for around here too, but I got to see. Oh, this is supposed to be attached. It looks like it's kind of like that, but I seem to be missing a piece. Well, he's also got a little imperfection in his nose, I'm just noticing. Um, so that's all that's going to go. I see that... Just doing the putty is not going to do the trick for me here. Um, so I'm probably going to have to make a little rod for his foot so you guys can see. But there isn't much room here because I was thinking about just filling the cavity with some epoxy putty and then putting the foot back on calling it a day. Can't really do that. So I need something for um, to kind of keep it sturdy. And, and I think a rod's probably going to do the trick there so i'll fill this cavity with epoxy putty put a rod in and that rod will go in the foot and then it's just lining up gluing it and then it'll cure by itself uh, so then everything will be nice and hard uh, to fix it so just realized i don't gotta gotta unplug a couple things so that i can uh get the hair dryer hooked up uh, i also have some accelerant here in case i need it but I'm just gonna, like I mentioned, take some glue, pull all the way on top of my little cup here. Take my hair dryer. I'm gonna heat this up. So what this will do is it'll make this a lot more pliable. So then I'm gonna spread this out with my thumb. Get some glue on here, and then I'm just gonna brush into the crevice here. And I'm gonna slowly attach because I want to try to get this as perfect as I can my first shot. All right, foot all set. Um, see, there's a little, still a little bit of gapage. It's not, you see, it's noticeable, but not super bad. Um, I'm thinking I might, just, I could take a little bit of putty and maybe clean that up or even just sand it down a little bit. Um, but next, gotta do the rod, uh, which I gotta go clean up my Dremel from my wife. So what I think I'm going to do is I got this dowel rod here. 
to make a hole big enough for that to fit into. And then this will be what sits in here and gives it some support. And that'll be a little stronger than some of the smaller wires that I got hanging around here. Drill into the foot. There we go. So that's in. Uh, looks like I gotta cut it around there. Don't know if I got a pen hanging around here. Let's cut it here and see what happens. I'm gonna take my little foot here. I already got some epoxy putty mixed up from working on my Godzilla. I'm just gonna fill this foot up with it. So what this is gonna be here primarily for is to keep my rod in place. So stick that there. And make sure this sits right. Kind of like so. And with the same glue, I'm just gonna take a little around the edges here. Personally, not too worried about the putty. I just don't really want a bunch of excess glue hanging around the outside. Give it a few seconds just to hold. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of cleanup. Alright, so next, I'm just gonna be adding a little bit of epoxy putty here and there, just kind of fill in a couple of the gaps uh, just to make it look a little prettier. Now well, that will help to keep the glue in too. A lot of this I'm doing just kind of help fill in some of the seam lines from the from the break. I'm gonna start, start just packing in, taking away until everything's all kind of conformed together. Alright, we got Mr. Allosaurus here all repaired. Also decided just to toss these two guys in to kind of make the video a little bit longer. They don't really need their own full-fledged video, so... Just kind of show them off here, uh, but uh, what we got here is two Spitfires I did for uh, my buddy Luke uh, for the 2014 and the 1962. But real quick, just to kind of show you guys more close up of how it looks after the repairs. Barely even tell anymore that this was snapped off. Like, I guess if you really look at it, you can kind of see the, a little bit of a texture difference. Uh, but for the most part, I think that's pretty darn clean. Like, especially looking at it, you can't really distinguish it too much difference from the scales. Which is pretty much what I was going for. Actually, I was really pleased at how fast I actually matched the paint. <laughs> it's just a dark gray, a little bit of browns. We're good to go. Um, so that'll stay on pretty well. I don't want to mess with it too much, but because I know it's it's decently supported, but still wouldn't uh, want to drop this thing. But for the Godzilla's 2014, uh, it's a little more of the exciting one between the two. Did the spines on the back here in a blue pearl color, uh, which I added a little bit of white to it to do the uh, the patterns on the inside where it's kind of like illuminating over the spines. Because when you see it in the movie, the lighting kind of travels up the spines and then kind of emits. So I wanted to have that a little bit brighter. And then you don't see it on the other spines outside of the ones on the centers. So I wanted to focus on that, did his eyes, did a um, decent amount of blue on there, did the same thing with a little bit of white, same thing on the inside of the mouth, added some white, covered it up with some airbrush for the blue, give him the nice little fire breathing look. Same with the 62 here, did his mouth pretty much the same way. It's a little bit more choppy, but that's Kind of the way I wanted it to look to go because, like, when, again, when you see it in the movie, when he's shooting it out, there isn't too much access blue in a lot of spots. But wanted enough to just kind of make it look like it's emitting while it's coming out of his mouth. And then, same with the spines, done the exact same blue coloring because that's pretty much how it looked in the movie. And then just went down the entirety of the figure here. 
nothing too crazy. It's pretty much the same thing I did with the, uh, oh, the whatchamacallit, the Kota Bikia 62 kit. Pretty much the same thing, other than uh, gave him a little bit more blue around the lips. Uh, kind of has that like nice little imperial charm to him now. But anyways, that's pretty much it for this little video here. Uh, it was fun fixing X Plus. Uh, it's definitely uh, the first one I've done. <laughs> and hopefully, well, uh, actually, I shouldn't say hopefully be the last. You definitely don't ever really want to see anybody have a smashed up X Plus, you know. But um, if I ever get a hold of like some other people that want their stuff repaired for X Pluses, definitely wouldn't mind going about it. But anyways, help us defeat those guys just by hitting the like button, subscribe, become a ranger today. We also got Instagram, Patreon, Pinterest, Facebook. Guys, I like to keep up the day with channel. Don't it really appreciate it. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.